Hey guys, DSGL here from Apple Pros. Uh, cool video today is the 4.0 software review for the iPhone 3G slash 3GS. Note that all 3GS uh, phones have all the softwares as, as well as the APIs for developers. 3G and second gen iPods uh, do not have the all the uh, features that come with this software update uh, that is available this summer. Developers get the beta version uh, from the day of the keynote, which I think it was last Thursday. So let's break into this now. Quick thing I really wanted to show you guys is this cool thing. It's called uh, it, well, it's not really called anything more or less. You shut off your simple passcode, which is just your four number uh, regular passcode. So now you can get you know the the words. So. Actually, just gonna type in mine. Okay. All right. To start off, we'll start off with the the backgrounds. Okay. So the backgrounds is really cool. You can now have backgrounds in the back of your apps or your home screen, more or less. And uh, there you go, Megan Fox. Thank you. One of my favorite actresses. And uh, basically, what you do is you go into settings, you go into wallpaper, camera roll, like that, set and scale, and home screen. Now it is, you can set it on both, or you can set it on your lock screen only, and or your home screen only but I do like that on my home screen. And another thing is is the folders. Folders is a big big organizational piece of this software update. Really 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 have come to enjoy it over the last like two days or something. Uh, I've just been putting apps in folders and folders. Uh, I do have three, three, four, yeah I think just four. So I have one games folder, another games folder, Love my games. Utilities folder, which has uh, clock, notes, maps, stocks, weather, calculator, and compass. Really, nothing I really, really, really use. I do use calculator for math. And weapons, which has all like my weapons apps. You know, my eye handgun, knife, knife dancing, chainsaw, all those stuff. And here we also have the. Oh yeah, multitasking. Multitasking. Alright, so if you double click the home button, it will show you all the apps that are running. So you do have all these apps that you can flick. And what's really cool about this, if you want to end, it's kind of like a task manager, if you want to end it, you can go like this. So see, I just have hold down messenger, click the minus sign, and it just goes away and sort of exits the app, and then you can just home button if you don't want it anymore. So for instance, if I go to Safari, now I don't have my I have, uh, airplane on so no one calls me while I do this review. Uh, if I do that, I double click and say I want to go to my settings. There are my settings, I'm in wallpaper. And say I want to go back to Safari. I don't have to click the home button and then go back to the Safari app. Two clicks, camera, and that's pretty much it for, you know, the whole multitasking issue besides the uh, folders which is more of an organizational thing and what's really cool about this is uh, in the camera app the native camera app now has five times digital zoom which is awesome so what you do is you just double tap and the slider comes up that way you're able to slide and actually has some pretty good macro, I I would have to say. Pretty good macro. That's about that's about half right there. I go full. I mean that's still decent. And what's really cool about this is now you have tap to focus video. So you just heard it. It's now recording. And you see I am able to focus on everything picture of Stewie that I drew. <laughs> so, 
that's basically it for you know the camera app but that's pretty cool and what I really noticed on the 4.0 software update is that the apps are very very responsive I have not had one crash on the apps the flicking is wicked fast and opening up apps is ridiculously fast it's kinda got that you know pop to it so as I exit so if I'm opening apps even like um graphically intense apps like um hmm. okay let's see let's see if I can find one that's pretty decent hmm which one can I pull up okay let's try my games folder Okay, I got one. I'll go in this game's folder. Okay, Battle Bears, for instance. So you go to Battle Bears, pulls it right up. And there you go. Battle Bears. I mean, enable open paint. Skip. There you go. Battle Bears. By the way, that is a great app. Awesome. And need I remind you about the unified mailbox, which is pretty cool. If you go into mail, let's see if I can actually move the camera over a little bit. All right, so if you go into mail, you have mailboxes for you have your inbox, your drafts, and your bulk mail. But what it is is if you have two mailboxes, it'll say all mailboxes, this mailbox, that mailbox. I mean, it, it is really spectacular. I mean, they're really pitting themselves against the BlackBerry uh, in, as far as email clients go. BlackBerry, HTC, and or Android. Just even Nexus. Nexus has really got some competition with this. There's no doubt that it's going to be a close, uh, close race. In this uh, software updates, I know Android has has been working on a software update. I think for about three months now. Not sure if that rumor is true, but there you go, guys. That's the iPhone 4.0 software update review, and it is 3:46 in the afternoon on Monday. I did want to show you one more thing, so let me grab it. I did pick these up, I think, what was it, Saturday, and they are the iFrog's Nerve Pipes. These things are great, unbelievable headphones, and I will be doing a review on the Nerve Pipes soon. Those are awesome headphones, guys. Check them out. This is DJL here from Apple Pros. Check out our giveaway on the iPhone 3GS. It will be going on soon. I urge you to get into that giveaway, guys. That is the best giveaway you'll ever get. I urge you to get in that giveaway. Because I got that at cost, and it is a great phone, along with that 4.0, if you become a developer. It's 99 a year, I believe. So check it out. I mean, you guys, 3G dash your comment. There you go. We also have a, I, was it a Griffin Flex? Uh, Dan Keenan did a review and a unboxing as well as a giveaway at the end of that video, if you guys have seen that video. So for that, I think it's flex-your-comment. Check that out, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.